Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my newest and latest pattern haul. It's been a while since I said that and I absolutely missed it. I didn't realize how much I missed pattern shopping until McCall's released their new collection and I was like, oh, patterns! <laughs> Um, now, I I do get Mimi uh, patterns when they come out, but I haven't really seen anything else lately that like got me excited and sparked my interest and, you know, just made me want to shop patterns. Um, I haven't been to my local craft store, Joanne. I haven't been there in months. So this was fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun going there and getting some new patterns. So I think McCall's released their new collection like a week and a half ago. I was super excited. I went to the website. I clicked on every pattern, looked at every view, looked at all the line drawings, and I had 10 that I wanted. <laughs> um, so um, I didn't know if there was a sale going on, so I checked uh, Joanne's, um, their weekly ad. It was an old ad, so I was like, hmm, they should have updated by now. I went ahead and called my local store, asked if they were on sale. They said they were. Um, and I didn't ask if they had the new patterns in sale. I just wanted to go anyway. Cause like I said, I haven't been in months. Um, and I need new notions and linings and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and went and lo and behold, not only were they on sale, but the new patterns were in. I was so excited. <laughs> so today I'm going to go ahead and share with you all the 10 patterns that I purchased. I also got one Vogue pattern and a couple notions and things. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to share is the Vogue pattern. This is Vogue 1772. I wrote down the number right back here. This is the number. The 1772 is the number that you will see if you get the pattern from the drawer. So you know they have patterns in the drawers that you pull out, search through, and they also have patterns on the top. Those are the display patterns, so those numbers are different. So this one right here is what you will see if you get it from the top of the display this number right here the 1772 is what you will see if you get it from the drawer so this is this pattern and i love it <laughs> these pants are amazing um i'm pretty sure i have pants like this somewhere in my pattern stash but i just love these i wanted them i got them i think they'd be fantastic for year round you can make them in a lightweight fabric for spring and summer something a little bit more heavier for winter and fall so i just went ahead and got it because i love it and it was on sale uh, vogue is also on sale butterick is also on sale um today's the sixth the sale goes off tomorrow which is the 7th february 7th 2021 um so yeah they were 5.99 i love this pattern i went ahead and grabbed it the next one I'm going to share is this one right here. This is McCall's 8141. I don't think I have anything like this in my pattern stash. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it. I think this is just a really cute dress. Um, really nice. You can have it for an evening dress. Another reason why I got it is because with melanated fabrics now, I kind of know what fabrics we have that are going to be coming in. Um, so with that, I'm like, hmm, I think that would be really great with that fabric once we get it. So I got this. I think it'd be fantastic for a night out, a nice little evening dress. Here's the line drawing on the back of the pattern. I didn't show you the line drawing of the pants, my bad. So here's the line drawing of the back of the pants. You can see all the pleating and how nice and wide and full they are. Um, and they do have pockets also. They don't have any belt loops. So if that's your thing, you can easily draw some loops. So yeah, a front um, lap zipper there. So these are the pants, line drawings for those. Now back to the dress. So here's the line drawing for that. My favorite is view B. I like the sleeves on that one. I could possibly do the sleeves on uh, view A. Not too crazy about the bow. Um, view C, I prefer sleeves on my garments, whether it's short sleeves um, or long sleeves. So I do prefer sleeves. I do like the split on view C though. I think that one is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I would most likely go with view B from this pattern. Whenever I do get around to making it, y'all know I get patterns, um, but it takes me a while sometimes to get around to everything. So just want to put that out there. I know a lot of you all see the patterns that I get and then you run and get them because, and then you wait for a so long. You're like, Brittany, when are you going to sew it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I will get around to it, but probably not immediately. But whenever I am ready to sew it, I probably, like I said, will go with UB. I think this one is super cute. Again, McCall's 8141. 
Next pattern up is McCall's 8146. This is a top pattern. This is for misses and women's. Shout out to McCall's because they have increased their pattern size range. If you did not know, this pattern in particular, the misses size is from 8 through 16. The women's size is 18W through 32W. So I'm just going to show you that right here. They've increased their size range, so that is awesome. Um, if you felt as though their patterns didn't go up um, to accommodate your size, now you don't have to increase your patterns for all the patterns. So again, shout out to McCall's for increasing your size range. That's awesome. Here's the back line drawing for this pattern. And honestly, uh, I like all the views. <laughs> you can see right here, view B looks like it has pleats down toward the hem of the sleeve. So that's really nice. That's a great little detail. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see myself wearing, now that I see the pleats and the ruching detail down here, hmm, with it being up here at the top of the sleeve cap, I probably would go with view C or view B on this pattern. But again, it's a really, really cute detail. And I really do like this pattern. Again, it's McCall's 8146. The next one I got is McCall's 8147, another top pattern. It's funny because I was like, uh, I don't know if I really love the bow on this one, but the bow is what drew me to this. <laughs> Girl, make up your mind. <laughs> Are we into bows or not? I don't know. <laughs> um, but seriously though, I really do like view B without the bow. Maybe that's what kind of drew me. Um, but C is really cute too. I love the sleeve. That's my favorite part. Um, they both have, is that elastic? Yes, they both have elastic casings at the end. So I do love that. View A, not really my jam. Here's the line drawing so you can kind of see that more. Not really in love with view A, but I do like view B and I also like view C. View B is my favorite. Um, but yeah, I got this one also. Again, McCall's 8147. The next one. 8149. <laughs> Love this one. Oh, I can't wait to get, well, I was about to say, I can't wait to get this one. Girl, you got it. <laughs> I can't wait to get my fabric for this one. Um, I'm so excited. This one can be made in faux leather. They have velvet on here. I wouldn't make it in velvet, but if that's your jam, you do what works best for you. So it has faux leather, velvet, twill, and denim. I would definitely do it in twill, denim, or faux leather, but I just love it. Just a classic little jean skirt, so you can definitely do that one. I love the zip front here. Let me show you the back. So this one right here is a zip front. They don't have pockets on that one. Cute. And this one's just a little bit longer. So I would definitely go with view B or view C on that one. I honestly think they're both, all three of them are cute, so I yes yes to this pattern this one also goes up to size 32w um so yeah i'm excited let me see if that's the other one not all of them um go to that size range so i will tell you the ones well this one right here is just extra small through extra extra large and that was for mccall's 8147 um and this one here goes up to 24 a size 24. so some of them like this one this fourth goes up to 32W as well as this one. So just definitely make sure that you check your sizing um, to make sure that you get the right size envelopes. The next one is McCall's 8182. I love this. I could totally see myself getting sassy <laughs> and wearing this um, over like a long white um, button up shirt. I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm here for it. Um, let me show you the back, the other views, the line drawing. So this one right here is view A. Uh, not in love with that one. Um, this one is view B. This is view C. I really do love view C. It has that little dip in the front right there, which I think is super cute. And I'm really not, well, I'm not crazy about the eyelets. So I would definitely go with view C. That's my favorite view off this pattern that's what um, drew me to it and that's why I got it so I love you see I would definitely like I said put it over the shirt dress um, and having that over top I love it <laughs> the next one that I have is McCall's 8183 and honestly I don't love love this pattern but I like it enough to have it if that even makes sense I don't love it but I do like it um yeah here's the back of the drawings 
View C is what drew me to the pattern. I thought that one was really nice. You can definitely like wear that someplace formal if you want with the right fabrics or I mean, I'm pretty sure you can figure out a way to make it casual like view B doesn't have buttons. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I would probably have to just sit on this one a little bit and maybe if I'm scrolling Pinterest and I see, um, some inspiration, I go, oh, I got a pattern for it. But again, I just like this one. Don't love, love, love it. But I mean, it was $1.99 and I was really excited. So that's what happens when I get excited. <laughs> The next one up is McCall's 8155. Now, I love this. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> love it. <laughs> um, this one is a uh, Mrs. and Women's Jacket Vest. This is also one that goes up to size 32W. I am here for view C. Where am I going to wear it? I don't wear, I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to make it though. At some point in time, I will make this. I actually love view B also. I think view A is really cool, but I prefer view B and view C on this pattern. Mm. Love, 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 love. <laughs> like I'm really, really in love with those two views. So this is one of the favorites that I picked up today. Again, McCall's 8155. The next one is McCall's 8154. I thought this little jumpsuit was super, super cute. I really do like view C, but I also like view B on it. Um, those are the two views that I would probably go with. I was drawn to it by view C. I love the little uh, drawstring that goes across the bodice of the top. Uh, the bodice of the top, girl. It just goes across the bodice, Brittany. <laughs> but I thought that one was really, really cute. I do like that detail. I also like uh, view B with the pockets. So those are the two views that I love. The view C is definitely my favorite. So I love this one. Again, my call is 8152. I'm sorry, 8154. The next one here is my call's 8174. I love this little dress. It's so cute. When I saw this and I said, yes. <laughs> The model of her glasses, yes, I was here for this one. Absolutely love it. And I plan to make this one, this is gonna be the first one that I make. And I plan to make it in some stretch velvet here. Like look, <laughs> wait, that's the wrong way. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is our uh, panee stretch, well stretch velvet panee. Um, I think I'm saying that wrong, that word right, um, but it is from Melanie Defire. It's in the color Brick. Absolutely love it. And I want to make it for a, kind of like a Valentine's Day look. So I'm going to make this dress and I want to make View C. I love it. I think it's cute. Um, yeah, I could see myself making this one multiple times. I really, really do like this, this dress a lot. You all know me. I'm very casual, um, you know, everyday kind of wear. But I think the velvet is going to jazz this up a little bit. But if I don't want to, you know, make it in velvet all the time, I could absolutely do something solid like she did here for more of a casual dress. So I love it. Here's the back drawings. A, I could make A also. C, again, I told you all I do prefer sleeves, but I do make sleeveless garments. Um, but if it has sleeves, I will go with sleeves. And then view C. This is the one I really, really love and the one I'm going to make first. So this is McCall's 8174 and this is Brandy. Y'all see that? Did you know McCall's have hashtags um, for their patterns? She's Brandy. I mean, it looks like a Brandy dress. I love it. I'm here for Brandy. The next one I picked up is an older pattern. This is McCall's 8019. I picked this up because I want to use some of our boucle. Hold. Uh, this right here. So partner Mimi G and Norris, Norris Santa Ford, they used the boucle from LA to Fabrics. Uh, the other two colorways, we had it in plum, we have it still in mustard, and we have it still in cinnamon. Um, and their garments look so good. I was like, man, I need to make something. <laughs> so I'm going to use this blue uh, boucle. And I want to just go with view, I guess, view C. Um, yeah, that one has the hood. Oh, I think that'd be really cute with the hood. Maybe the hood or maybe just the collar. I don't know, I'll decide. But um, I'm going to use this pattern to make a nice little jacket. I'm excited about it. 
And this is gonna probably be the second project after I make the velvet dress right here I just showed you. I wanna make this one. Um, so yeah, those are all of my patterns for my pattern haul. I'm so excited to finally have some new patterns. Jeez, it felt like forever. <laughs> I was like, I'm missing something. And when the collection came out, I was like, patterns, that's what I'm missing, a new collection. So again, super excited. I did also pick up some lining, picked up this black lining to go, which I don't know if I like this now that I really feel it. It looks very waterproof. <laughs> I don't like it. I may get something else, but if not, then this is a lining that I'll be using for the little jacket that I just shared with you all. This one right here, but I don't know. We may find something else. Don't really like the way that felt once I got it here and the way it sounds. Mm. Anyway, I also grabbed this lining right here to go with the velvet. Um, you need a half a yard of lining, so I went ahead and got just a full yard. Um, and this is a knit lining here, or it's what I'm going to use. They didn't have Trico, but they did have this really, really lightweight knit, you can see. So it's really lightweight. It'll work great as a lining. So I picked that up and I also grabbed some notions. I needed some elastic. Elastic. This is the elastic for the velvet dress. This one here. And this is the elastic that I need for the jacket. And I also got a zipper for the jacket too. And that is everything that I picked up from Joann's. So yeah, I'm so like, I keep saying I'm so excited, but I'm a pattern girl. I get excited about patterns. <laughs> I get excited about pattern hauls and when new collections drop. Oh my gosh, did y'all see Mimi uh, new simplicity patterns? I cannot wait to get my hands on those. The jumpsuit, that dress, love. So I've got some sewing to do y'all. I am so excited for the patterns. Let me know below if you all have any of these same patterns and let me know maybe two of them that you would love to see a video for and I would try to get them out. Um, don't put me on a time frame. Y'all know things are kind of crazy, but just let me know your favorite too. I'll see which one, you know, is the popular one and I'll try my hardest. Really, really try to get those out for you all. But that is all for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you know when the next video goes live. And I will see you all then. Blessings everyone. Bye.